Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're hopping into the next episode of our Let's Play Clash Royale series where we are solidly in the Royal Arena. I'm only at 2084 right now so I want to make sure I don't drop out of it by picking up a couple of wins. Let's go ahead and start it off against James ZX who is only a level 8 which is definitely a nice sign after playing a lot of level 9s in a row and uh, he's actually going to play an Elixir Collector up front using the old school Elixir Collector strategy. Now over the last Last couple of updates they've changed the elixir collector to, to where it's way less tanky because uh, normally I would put my elixir collector in the same spot that James did but from here on out I've been putting it behind my towers just because it can take so much damage so quickly and to make it so it's a negative elixir trade but let's go ahead and play our Valkyrie musketeer combo and he's gonna play a golem and rush the left hand side of my map so actually a really nice golem by him take a look at the musketeer it's still gonna be shooting at my Valkyrie it's gonna be doing a crazy amount of damage I'm gonna have to end up dropping my arrows to kill that musketeer and then I'm gonna have to use my own musketeer against this wizard I'm actually only gonna take a little bit of damage I'm not too sad about that uh, it could have definitely been way worse but since he doesn't have any cards down let's go ahead and go for an offensive push before of course he's gonna stomp us out with his barbarians and make that hog push useless all right so things are still looking okay we can play our valkyrie to kill these barbarians take a look at where I place it trying to make sure that the barbarians take as much damage tower damage as possible before putting that Valkyrie down. And at this point, I'm gonna play an aggressive Elixir Collector. And by aggressive, I mean I'm playing it when I have almost no Elixir left besides the five I needed to play it. Uh, of course, you can't really play too aggressive of an Elixir Collector. But take a look at that level seven Musketeer. I just noticed that he has a level seven Musketeer to my level five. And for some reason, his Elixir Collector is only level five. So maybe he got it. Uh, maybe he got a couple of Musketeers out of a Super Magical. I have no idea. But anyways, let's go ahead and get ready to go on a push because I have no other options right now and I'm gonna drop the hog rider as well as the poison to try to take out this left hand tower now from here since he only played the spear goblins on defense I pretty much knew uh, that the golems gonna be coming down so let's go ahead and get ready on defense I'm gonna play the Valkyrie to stop that wizard I've got the skeletons to help out against the golem of course the skeletons will get killed by the golems explosion and actually he's gonna zap the skeletons I don't know if that was a great trade let's play our cannon to distract at least one barbarian as well as that musketeer right there and uh, from here on out we should be okay to go on on offensive push all right so now that We've got the Valkyrie down, we've got the Hog Rider down, we've got the Skeletons down. At this point, we're making some good work on this left-hand tower. We've got the Poison Spell to help out. He's going to drop his Barbarians directly inside the Poison Spell, which obviously not exactly what you're going for when you're going on defense. And uh, our Musketeer actually ends up killing his level 7 because of the Poison Spell, reducing his Musketeer's attack speed, making this a really nice battle so far, and uh, we should be able to clean it up. All right, so Valkyrie onto the Musketeer. We've got, again, Skeletons onto his Golem, and we're gonna play the Poison Spell onto his Musketeer, seeing as we can get a little bit of tower damage as well. At this point, gotta make sure we use our Cannon to stop that Golemite in its tracks. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Let's play a Hog Rider to make sure it goes straight forward. Wizard will not be enough to stop our push, or actually, it's gonna be able to kill the Hog Rider. We're gonna take the tower down to a little bit below, I guess, 150 HP maybe. And uh, taking a look at the damage that we need, it actually isn't gonna be enough to drop our arrows on it. But still, he went for a big offensive swing and missed. Hog Rider running towards the tower with the arrows to clean it up for a very solid victory against James ZX. So well done right there. One crown to zero for 30 trophies. We're also gonna get a golden chest, uh, which I'm gonna open up as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and get that going. We're pretty close to our crown chest. We're definitely gonna need some more wins to make sure we get that done. Let's go ahead and hop into battle number two against Nico and to see if we can make the same result happen. All right, so taking a look at our starting hand, only one card we can play. What do you guys think I should play? I'm trying to like teach you guys uh, to know what card you can play from the very beginning. And obviously right there, the Valkyrie was the real only option. We can't play one Elixir Skeleton. We could if we really wanted, I guess, but I, I don't think that's the best play. Obviously, Arrows is a starting card. I'm not gonna Arrow as King Tower. And uh, the other one was a cannon, and you can, you don't wanna start cannon. You don't wanna start defensively like that. So the only option was the Hog Rider or sorry, the Valkyrie, which we played towards the very back and started making a little bit of a push. I'm gonna make a video eventually talking about how, or like what's the best 
card to start off with when you're in a battle. Like, I'll do a bunch of different decks and tell you guys my thought process behind the first card I play in every single deck. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk more about that later. But anyways, so far so good in this battle. We chip the right-hand side as well as a little bit on the left. I don't have anything to play against this Hog Rider. I can desperately play a cannon, but taking a look at my Valkyrie, I tried to play that on defense. But take a look at my Valkyrie placement. I placed it too close to the tower, and because of that, his Fire Spirits ended up doing an insane amount of splash damage, taking the tower all the way down to 500 HP. So not very well played right there by me. I made a pretty massive mistake, which could cost me for the rest of the battle. Take a look at where I place my musketeer i place it on the right hand side to make sure that i can go for a big counter push right here we've got the hog rider we've got the musketeer we've got the skeletons and uh, overall everything's gonna die a pretty sad death as we push that right hand lane all right so the poison's gonna trickle down but still not the best offensive push we do have the elixir collector pumping up and uh, giving us a pretty solid advantage getting ready for his hog you can see i hovered the cannon before he even played it and uh, at this point looks like we should be able to take it out seeing as I have both towers attacking the hog, and now I can go aggressive, or I guess aggressively passive, with the Elixir Collector on the bottom left-hand side. So at this point, I'm not freaking out. I still have this game in control just because of my Elixir advantage against this guy. I'm gonna play a Valkyrie in the back. I'm getting ready for another massive push down the right-hand side. And at this point, I sort of realized that he doesn't have any defensive buildings. He hasn't played a cannon yet. He has, he, all he has is that Elixir Collector. I guess this is his lone defensive card. And this is the push where we make things happen. We had the Valkyrie tanking for so long for our Hog Rider. We've got the Musketeer at full HP. The Hog Rider is going to end up dominating. And he's actually going to play a Prince on defense for the very first time this game. Now, again, Valkyrie is going to be close to the cannon and uh, end up getting taken out. We've got the Musketeer. We're trying our best. Take a look at this. I'm actually gonna have to improvise with this Hog Rider, and the Hog Rider's gonna tank for the Musketeer and end up doing decent work to make sure we don't take any damage. Arrows onto the Spear Goblin, skeletons onto the cannon. We're doing a hectic defense right here using pretty much every single card we have in the book. We've got the Poison Spell stopping the Hog Rider in its tracks, the towers at 342 HP, and the defensive Hog Rider ends up sealing the deal for me and giving me a one crown to zero victory against Nico. So that was really, really uh, creative right there to use the Hog Rider on defense. I literally had no other card that would have been able to stop that Musketeer. I think I had arrows and something else, but the Hog Rider was my only play. I used the Hog Rider on top of the Musketeer. So even if she locked onto the tower, she would change her aggro to the Hog Rider instead. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into one more battle. Of course, we're gonna finish it off with a level nine and to see how this one's gonna end up. So again, only one card I can play up the start. I don't want to play a Hog Rider in the very beginning, especially being a lower level, but take a look at this. I don't have my cannon. I don't have my single Elixir Skeletons. Probably the worst possible starting hand I could have had against the Royal Giant. And at this point, we are just taking it from this Royal GG on the left-hand side and our tower is gonna go all the way down. Literally the worst possible hand we could have had uh, to try to defend that push. I'm gonna th so throw the sad face, and I know at this point, just judging off how he's playing, that I have a good chance to pull this game out. I feel like I might be a more skilled player, um, and I, I just have to make sure that I, I don't, you know, mess up too much. And again, no one elixir skeletons, no cannon, means he's gonna go crazy with the, uh, the prince as well as the balloon. Looks like his zap's actually gonna switch the aggro from my musketeer. I'm gonna go for a push down the right-hand lane. He's pretty much conceiving this right-hand side, so I'm gonna going with the Valkyrie, the Hog Rider, and the uh, One Elixir Skeletons. He's going to go for a minion horde for the King Tower. He's getting so greedy to get the victory, and the first tower is going to go down, giving us the first crown on his side of the map. Now, at this point, he's probably going to have to play a little bit of defense. He's going to play the Goblins to take out the Hog Rider. We've got the tower down to about 2,000 HP, so we've recovered nicely from the first unlucky uh, start of the game. And uh, I'm just gonna take some goblin damage and I knew he was gonna play his Royal Giant So I tried to draw my elixir collector as some way to stop it But I really have nothing I can do too much. I don't have my one elixir skeletons I'm gonna play my Valkyrie to help out with the cannon. I played what is that? That was so much that was five plus three plus five That's 13 elixir to guard against a Royal Giant obviously not the positive elixir trade You're gonna want to have to win the game and at this point, I know he's going to be coming at me with the balloon, so I have to play my Musketeer and a pray to the gods. All right, so Poison, we've got a cannon. Please give me a cannon. I haven't had the one Elixir Skeletons for the... Uh, my Musketeer is running down the right-hand lane. One of the saddest battles I've ever had in Clash Royale. Oh, 
I, uh, yeah, you guys know that, you know, I love to give credit where it's due, but my starting hand, coupled with the fact that I was a level 7 against level 9, this one is, uh, not a good one to go out on, but we're just gonna have to do it. Good game against Malar Dari, and, uh, yeah, at least we got a crown towards our crown chest, but that was, uh, unlucky, as people would say, and we're gonna end the episode at 2,121 trophies. So yeah, still need to get another poison card, guys. Level one epic is killing me. I know people in Arena One have level one epics, and uh, it's the only one of the only level one ep epics that I have. So I want to make sure I get that done. Let's upgrade the three musketeers. My policy is I'm upgrading anything under 400 gold. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get that done. But yeah, that is gonna do it for the upgrades as well as the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. And uh, until tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Peace out.